Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we've got a question from Lars. Lars has a uh, sailboat, 50 foot Bavaria, and he's got two shore power plugs. And he asks a question about galvanic isolator. He says, do I need two galvanic isolators? The short answer is yes. Um, and it's the same thing, you see this on big boat, uh, big, big, big boats, 60, 70 footers. They'll actually have not only two isolate, like two galvanic isolators, but they'll have an isolation transformer in the front and an isolation transformer in the back. So for boaters out there that do have two shore power plugs, maybe one up front, one in the back, or two in the back, you're gonna need a galvanic isolator rated for the maximum amperage of that shore power connection. So if it's a 30 amp, you're gonna wanna make sure that obviously your galvanic isolator can handle 30 amps. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to have one on both circuits. So you're gonna have a galvanic isolator per shore power cord. The reason that is essential is that you never want any stray current, DC stray current, to bypass your galvanic isolator. And you need to protect that or each AC grounding connection by installing a galvanic isolator. Remember, galvanic isolators are not all that expensive and modern day ones are fail safe. So you can probably pick up a galvanic isolator for $250, $300 USD, uh, which is pretty affordable considering what damage can happen to your underwater metals if you don't have one. Um, on the topic of galvanic isolators, I strongly, strongly encourage all boaters who do not have an isolation transformer and if you do plug into a marina, strongly suggest that you install a, gal a galvanic isolator on your shore power receptacle. 